Okay, welcome to a sped up version of this photo stamping mirror card. Right here, I am doing a white out, blocking out of some area of the silver foil. Uh, that's with the white brilliance ink. Stamping the bottom portion of this autumn brook on here with the stays on ink. Okay, that area will need to be um, spray sealed uh, when complete. Multicolor impression of the top portion of the same autumn brook, and that area will match up with that bottom portion that was stamped out on the silver foil. In this case, stamping it out on the photo print of some clouds, free for download on uh, my Flickr account. And let's see, we need to add the left side um, of the autumn bank there to fill out that whole um, tree line from edge to edge. And there's the bottom portion of that same stamp again on the silver foil. Okay, now see that uh, brilliance white can be just wiped off um, when dry or when still wet. Okay, filling in with some additional uh, colors in the tree areas using alcohol inks. Okay, that top portion was stamped out in uh, dye-based inks so that when I came to use these alcohol inks at this point in time, it will not smear the impressions because alcohol and water do not mix. Okay, so I'm using a combination of, or a range, I should say, of uh, some uh, yellow to red autumn tones. I usually go in there with some light tones, then I'll use some darker ones, then I'll go in with the lighter one again to just kind of blend out um, some of the darker tones. So you kind of go back and forth. And this photo paper will allow you to uh, go into the inks that you've already laid down and to kind of spread them around. And alcohol inks will dissolve other alcohol inks, so it makes it easy to blend these different colors. Okay, going in with a little bit of a lime green tone for that grassy area underneath those autumn trees. Multi-tones here, multi-values. Right here, I mean, it. I wouldn't say it's not important um, as far as the colors that you use, but you don't have to be perfect with your um, color applications here because uh, believe it or not, these are going to be kind of a foundation color for um, another color that's going to be applied on top, meaning these three millimeter paint pens. And this is what's going to really give these trees a lot of shimmer, okay? I'm going on here with a, a yellow, um, I'd say it's like a canary yellow um, three millimeter pen. So fairly large little dots here, okay? And you can see it's really kind of making those trees look a lot more three-dimensional, uh, a lot more shimmery um, in light. And now this is a 0.7 millimeter acrylic paint pen for some smaller areas. I ended up using quite a bit of the uh, 0.7 millimeter pens on this scene because there's some smaller forms. Um, the larger pens I'm using it more for um, just the uh, the larger kind of tree structures in there where there's going to be a lot of those autumn tones. Okay, going back to the uh, 0.7 millimeter uh, pen here, orange. And I'm applying it, um, that orange, quite a bit in those darker trees in the middle just to give it a lot more dimension. Okay, see that? How that looks with the, uh, the mirrored stock below? Doesn't that make it really stand out? Okay, going with a 0.7 millimeter white paint pen, making the trees, or kind of reiterating the trees, refinding those tree forms, um, you know, with all that color that we apply down in there. Um, those trunks aren't really white anymore, so you just kind of reestablish them. And then after you do those trunks, you just go back in with some additional little um, colored dots just to break up those white lines a little bit. And look how those um, trunks really show up in the uh, reflection. Okay, going back in and um, kind of mopping off or erasing the uh, uh, some areas within the lower impressions down there where it represents water so that we get that reflection showing in that reflected area. So you don't have to be real careful with that white ink um, in that uh, lower section. But again, you will have to spray seal when complete.
just to um, adhere um, that white brilliant zinc to the surface. All right, going in with some uh, in little impressions that's using the uh, tiny rocks there to add in the, a little bit of coloring to that uh, white brilliance area. Okay, this is, and then going again with the um, acrylic paint pens here to bring some tone into that lower section. It won't be quite as colorful as the top section because there's only so much you can really add to that white brilliant ink that is applied on the top of the silver foil. It's because if you try to add too much, it'll kind of lift off that brilliant ink as opposed to transferring the color to that uh, brilliant ink applied, uh, those brilliant ink applied areas. Okay, but see how that matches up pretty well? You don't have to be real careful about it. Okay, so I'm going to be adding in some foreground in this foil. I'm going to show you something that looked like it worked, but it really didn't because the um, color kind of kept creeping. Okay, so doing again white blocking out with the white uh, brilliant ink, and I'm going uh, to add this like it's kind of like mist or something like that because I planned on doing some tr uh, little bushes in color above these rocks. These are the boulders with lichen, only using about a third of it um, because I didn't want to block off too much of that area. Okay, going in and removing some of that white ink, I was thinking, eh, maybe I kind of applied too much of it. So I'm kind of adding a little bit of a wispy kind of uh, touch or texture to that uh, white applied ink and then blending it out a little bit more. Sometimes you have to go a little bit back and forth between um, an additive and subtractive process. Again, take the tiny rock stamp and adding some dye-based ink uh, applications to those rocks. Gives it a little bit of a kind of a lichen, mossy uh, toned uh, look to those rocks. Taking a look at it in context, always keep looking at um, the, you know the scene put together. Work on them separately, but then you know always refer to them uh, as you're working. Okay, now this is um, the time when I'm doing these dye-based ink impressions and putting it right over the top of that white pigment ink, and it shows up pretty good. I think it, that color on top of that silver. Um, which is really on top of the white. I think that looks really good right there. But again, that just kept creeping, creeping, creeping after the video, the live stream was over and it was so blurred out. I just took white, uh, uh, just a damp paper towel and I just wiped off that entire lower section. The boulders with the lichen that were stamped out in the um, stays on permanent stayed on there, but everything else down there, the coloring on those rocks and uh, those colorful bushes, leaves, um, were just wiped out. And I will go in and fill in something uh, different in there. Okay, white pigment ink in that upper area, giving that uh, impression of the autumn foliage, um, some variation with a little bit of lightness and softness to contrast against all those kind of brighter colors and crisp impressions, okay? So it's kind of like you're bringing clouds in the front of those trees, just like the clouds on the photo print are in the back of the trees. So you're bringing in that element of illuminated moisture into the scene itself so that it merges with that um, cloudy background um, kind of contextually, okay? And also visual texture, um, um, you know, with soft and soft. Okay, and there's your scene right there. Again, looking pretty good, I think, if I must say so myself. Adding in some little bit of uh, textures into those leaves, which no longer exist because I wiped them off. <laughs> Adding in some little uh, leaves kind of uh, floating in the water, which you would see out in nature. So adding in some orange ones and some yellow ones here so that it, uh, that surface looks a little bit more mirrored like with those leaves floating on the surface, you know, from those trees in the background or maybe there's some in the foreground. All right, little fin finishing touches with a little bit more of that yellow um, paint pen. And there's the card. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.